Thank you. Thank you for allowing me to testify today. Uh, my name is Brian Parker. I'm a 51-year-old father of two, a uh, native of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and a recipient of food stamps. I'm sorry, SNAP benefits. Uh, I'm also a veteran. I served on board the USS Midway from 1985 to 1988. Uh, I then lived in Japan for the, uh, for the next 20 years as the owner of a small chain of uh, English cram schools. Uh, I was also a physical fitness trainer for uh, MMA fighters and for professional wrestlers. I, uh, 2010, I uh, moved back to Tulsa to be with the family and uh, friends here. Uh, left behind my two daughters who are both successful. Uh, my oldest being a, an architectural engineer and my youngest also a chef. Uh, both quite successful in moving forward with their lives uh, as adults. I've been in the restaurant industry myself for, uh, for my entire life. I've held every position uh, from dishwasher to uh, general manager and uh, still take great pride in uh, being prepared to step into any, any one of those positions uh, at any given time to help my crew get through a crunch. Uh, always been a hard worker and I believe in it. I've always felt uh, accomplished I've and successful. I've never worried about uh, paying a bill, buying food, or wondering where I was going to uh, get the get the next meal. That was a thought that never crossed my mind. Um, but like many people do, I lost my job. This happened two or three years ago, and uh, I, it, it's rough. I felt down on my luck, uh, depression, I battled anxiety, and uh, it... it Every, every, grow, every day it seemed to grow a little bit stronger. Uh, you, you lose hope after a while. Uh, every day that goes by without landing a job, it gets rougher. So while trying to find work, I uh, had to find ways to cut spending. Uh, it wasn't uh, too long before I, would, uh, no longer, before I could no longer afford to keep my car or my home or anything else for that matter. With each interview that went without the promise of a new job, the, the struggles just kept becoming more and more complicated. When it seemed that nobody was willing to give an opportunity to a man, it's, uh, it's tough when you're 51 years old for anybody, but uh, when you're looking for work, it's daunting. And uh, when you find yourself trying to, uh, to land these jobs, when you're working out of a cheap midtown motel, yeah, it gets even more difficult. Uh, mm. SNAP during this time was a, a lifesaver. It provided nutrition. It gave me, uh, it gave me hope. Uh, a man can endure a lot of pain but, uh, and suffering, but uh, one thing that's almost impossible to ignore is, the, is hunger. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. It's hard to live up to the, to your own responsibilities as a provider when you're not providing. <laughs> I'm uh, very thankful for the SNAP program and for... Uh, for the SNAP benefits that uh, I've received while trying to get back on my feet. Uh, I'm happy to say that someone's finally decided to give me a chance, though, a second chance. Uh, I'm currently enrolled in the Community Food Bank uh, Eastern Oklahoma's Culinary Trade Program, and I'm over halfway finished with the, uh, with the 16 week course. Uh, the Culinary Trade Program qualified participants, and it helps people needing a second chance in life. I'm currently working there five days a week for at least seven hours a day. Uh, the program, uh, teaches professional cooking skills and life skills. Uh, the executive chef, uh, Jeff Marlowe, likes to uh, remind us of his uh, A, A, and E. That stands for, or his little motto, is, it stands for uh, attitude, attendance, and effort. He likes to tell us that these are the keys to life. Well, when I graduate from the uh, culinary trade program, I will, uh, yeah, upon successful completion of the program uh, and a final examination, I'll uh, leave the course with, uh, food handler's uh, manager certificate, and a uh, set of chef knives, and uh, some other little perks. Uh, all of the, th this uh, certification is also transferable uh, anywhere in the United States. Uh, it's, it's a good program, and it's a program that's uh, helped put me in a position to where I'll be able to land any position I want, again, in the food industry. Ultimately, ultimately I'd love to get my own uh, food truck and for further down the line, move that into a more brick and mortar type of a scenario with a larger, larger menu and a relaxing atmosphere. Immediately following this uh, course, uh, completion of the course, I'll find myself in almost any uh, professional kitchen I'd like to work in. And that with hard work, really hard work, uh, the, the training and my passion for cooking, my dream of uh, owning my own business will become a reality. None of this has been possible without the help of the food, uh, the SNAP program and the culinary trade program. Uh, 
I see every day how important SNAP is to many lives in the community. Uh, everyone needs to eat, not just the employed or, or the wealthy or middle class. Everyone needs food, and food it provides the fuel and the strength that we need. SNAP helps those in need one step closer to self-sufficiency. Most don't even consider hunger to be an, an obstacle. Uh, it's hard to unless you've been there. If it weren't for SNAP, I would probably probably be homeless. And uh, that's not easy to say. I'm a proud man. Uh, unless you've been there, you really wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't understand. Uh, all you can do is focus on uh, when you might eat again or how you're going to come up with the 40 bucks it takes to stay in a cheap motel one more night. This is why SNAP's important to me and the people that need it. Honestly, I, I believe anyone uh, working middle class individual is just one uh, life altering change or event bad event away from being in the same situation. One day I want to be able to pay it forward and hopefully I'm doing that right now. Thank you for allowing me to tell my story today. I'm blessed and fortunate to be there. Be here. Thank you. Brian, thank you. from a Marine to a Navy veteran, and I thank you for your service. Well done. Well, thanks, sir.